Hello, welcome to tdcat.com and this is Goods In number 9. Today we have this, which is a Trond Bluetooth transmitter and receiver. It uh, arrived from, well, you can quite easily tell who it arrived from, Amazon. Uh, so we'll just do a quick unboxing of the product and yeah, as, as, as you can see there, it's the um, Trond BT Duo wireless transmitter and receiver and I it's, I think it's a pretty tiny device. Uh, if you want to look at the specs, then pause the video there because that is the full list of specs. It's Bluetooth version 4.1 class 2 and it does support aptX, aptX, which is the reason I wanted this particular model. Uh, I, the general idea is that I want to be able to use this with my camera or a camera or in fact any other device I suppose that doesn't support Bluetooth but mainly a camera plug it in the side and be able to monitor with wireless headphones but I don't know whether the latency will be a problem anyway uh, here's the device itself oh my god this wow it's absolutely tiny uh, it weighs nothing uh, just hold it into the light there so you can have a, a better look at it and uh, it's a fairly nice finish the nice finish on the case and you can see it's made by a company called Trond, or at least they've badged it. I imagine it's just a pretty standard Bluetooth chip inside. The transmit and receive switch there, to put switching its modes between the two. Micro USB, which I guess is for charging, and the standard 8th inch uh, headphone socket. And I would have thought that's just for either inputting audio or outputting audio, depending on which mode it's in. So, yeah, not much to that at all. All right, what else do you get in the box? Right, okay, well, yeah, a micro USB cable, another one of these. How many of those have you got? Well, I must have about 50 in a drawer somewhere. Uh, I can't bear to throw them out, but yeah, don't really need them. That's a very nice short eighth inch lead, actually. That's that's exactly what I needed, just a really nice short one. And this is just a um, eighth inch socket to RCA phono left and right. So that's you could plug that in like that, and, and that would allow you to use the device and run the audio out from the device into an amp or take it from some RCA phonos into the device. I don't know what that is, just a warranty card. And this is the instruction book. Oh, hey, nice and neat and tidy. Well, that makes a change. I was actually expecting this to be some sort of uh, poorly translated <laughs> poorly translated thing. This uh, device retails at about £20, so not massively expensive, but probably not the cheapest you can get. Uh, but it was the only one that I could be absolutely sure supported Aptex. So that's the reason, as I say, that I went for it. Uh, so there you go. They've got the two modes there. Um, using it as a Bluetooth receiver, you can uh, have a look at that and figure out sort of various scenarios and whether it would work for you. And there is how to use it as a transmitter, which is the one I want to use it for. And it's got information there at the bottom about pairing. So yeah, not much in the box. Really not much to it at all. It is absolutely light. I, I don't know, well, I might, might even weigh it at some point, but it's it just it's really, really light. I might just try turning it on a second and confirm that that yep yeah, that is so it is a light behind there uh just I, I suppose it needs a light because it's the only other way it can indicate what it's only way it can indicate what it's doing so as far as like pairing is it paired is it connected uh, what mode it's in is it charging has it finished charging all those kind of things will probably all be indicated by the light so what I actually wanted this for was to uh, connect like this to the um, to the camera, so that I can use the headphone out with a Bluetooth transmitter and uh, and then use some wireless headphones. So I don't have to have a cable running out to whatever I'm doing. So it helps with a kind of one man operation. Um, but uh, I mean, this thing is so small that it's actually really good because you can just I mean you could just have that dangling from there. But I mean, ultimately, probably the best thing to do is just attach it with some uh, Velcro, or you could even just blue blue tack it down. I think because uh, it it really is just very very tiny and very very lightweight. Uh, and uh, with the wireless headphones, it does support aptX, so uh, hopefully that it's really kind of low latency too. But um, of course, then it means that it opens up sort of wireless uh, headphones and things like that, to, uh, wireless speaker and wireless headphones to other devices that are non-Bluetooth, so like uh, field recorders, um, that type of thing, you know. So obviously phones don't make any difference because they're all Bluetooth now. 
but um, <laughs> but uh, you know other uh, other devices I'd want to use my headphones with. It's perfect for. So just don't know whether the latency will be low enough to for it to be practical for use with a camera like this. But hopefully it will be. I'll give that a try. I will try pairing it up to a speaker. So this is the Bluetooth Bose uh, Soundlink mini speaker. It's uh, it's not sort of Bluetooth 4.1, uh, unlike the Tron device, which is Bluetooth 4.1. Uh, and we're going to try pairing this up now to an old iPhone 5, which I will plug in here now. I can do this one-handed. And I'm going to have to uh, turn off Bluetooth on this. And um, uh, just make sure it doesn't pair up. And can we put some something on Spotify maybe or something like that? Let's have a look. Let's do a bit of Christine and the Queens. And right. So that should be playing now. And we'll just put that up to line level, which should be full. I think line level is full. And now, how does it say we have to pair this? So it says select working mode, power on, press and hold the air button for three seconds, fine. Okay, that's three. Uh, flashes twice, I'm not sure if it's flashing twice or not. Pairing. Double tap to enter pairing mode. Uh, turn on your Bluetooth headphones and activate the pairing mode. So if I double tap that, is, it, is that in pairing mode or not? I'm not sure. Um, let's have a look. And put this one into put this into pairing mode. Nope. All right, that's in pairing mode. So it says. Uh, to, ah, okay. Have those two comments? Oh, well, there we go. That was pretty straightforward. So that's now, um, if I just turn this down a second, that's now coming out of the uh, iPhone into the Bluetooth transmitter, which is obviously surplus to requirements when you have Bluetooth on a phone, but that's not the point. Um, and then to a Bluetooth speaker. So there we go, that's Christine and the Queen, so I better turn that off, otherwise YouTube will probably do me for copyright. And. Yeah, so that all works great, because I only really want it as a transmitter, but it does work as a receiver as well. So if we just have a look and see how we would do this as a receiver, there are the instructions to do it as a receiver. Brilliant. So hopefully, if you're thinking about buying this device, that helps you out. It's fully specced up. It's it's right, retails at about £20 and uh, fully, fully spec'd up with the latest version of Bluetooth. So it has a good run time on it of eight hours and uh, all good. That worked brilliantly for a live never done before test. 